my loves, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be ranking my drugstore cream blushes. I can't believe I'm sitting down to do this video because I've never been into cream blushes and it's mostly because they've never worked well with powders. And that is until now where brands are coming out with cream blushes that you can pile right on top of your powders and they work beautifully. So I jumped right on board that train I'm on it with everybody else and I love cream blushes and I just decided I need to know what all the drugstore cream blushes are about so I pretty much bought them all. So we're gonna rank them all and we're gonna talk about them and I'll show you the ones that are my favorite and my least favorite. I don't think there's any really bad blushes in this bunch. I like them all so it's really gonna be interesting to look at them all next to each other and discuss. So if you guys would like to see me rank my cream drugstore cream blushes, then keep on washing. Cream, liquid, you know what I mean. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six. So we have six, two categories have two blushes. So there's actually eight blushes in total. So, okay, number six I'm, I'm putting here because I'm not 100% sold on it yet. It's definitely newer to me, um, and that is the Pixie On The Glow Blush. My problem with this product, mostly, is that it does not play well with powder. This is the one out of all of these that actually you cannot put on top of powder because it will do what all cream blushes used to do, which is disintegrate anything underneath it. It does look like a deodorant, which is fine. I like the packaging. It's a very glowy blush. It's very, very dewy, very hydrating, very beautiful. I do have it on right now, but I put it on first and then I put a skin tint on top of it you have to use this product in that way. So if you're not somebody who uses powder, you will love this. The shade is gorgeous. This is the shade Juicy. I do have another shade too. This one, I don't really lean pink with blush, almost never. I'm definitely more of like a peachy coral kind of girl. So this is the shade that is right up my alley. Um, but they both perform the same way. And I'm just always gonna put powder here because I want to blur my pores, even if I'm not setting my concealer, which most of the time I don't even put that much concealer under my eyes because I don't want to deal with creasing and stuff. I, I go very light with it, but I'm always going to want to set right here. So, you know, this is just not something that, I, I don't want a product that's not gonna work with powders. In addition to that, this is $18. So this is definitely the most expensive of the bunch. I mean, it's Pixie, they tend to be a little bit pricier, but for a product that doesn't work with powder, I can't see myself reaching for it over and over again. It's not gonna be the go-to blush for me. Number five on that list, this is mostly because of the shade. This is the Cheek Heat Sheer Gel Cream Blush from Maybelline. This product actually got a lot of shit on TikTok. Like people are just like, that product sucks. I don't know why people think that because I don't think it sucks at all. Um, this is like a thicker formula. It is a gel. And I think somebody made a comment on a video that I did and was like, it just disappeared. Well, it's a gel blush. So it, it is gonna fade up. You can build it, but it it's very pretty. It's called Nude, what is the shade called? Nude Burn. It's a bit more like rosy than I would prefer. I do like it, but there are shades I have that I like more, but there is nothing wrong with this. And I'm just gonna put another layer on top so you can see that you can build it to like whatever level you want. And I like that. It does have a bit of a glow to it and it is very pretty, it's very pretty. Next up, we have the Putty Blush from e.l.f. This is in the shade Turks and Caicos. Now this is the driest formula of all of them. And I don't think I'm gonna be able to swatch now because of all the makeup removing wipes that I've put on my hand. <laughs> this is the driest formula. You can see there is no sheen to it. It's not gonna leave your skin dewy whatsoever. It's definitely more matte. And this is gonna look very natural, but it's gonna be easier to work with because it's not slipping and sliding all over the place. It dries like a powder. So I feel like 
this is the easiest to apply if like you're new to cream blushes and I tend to apply this with a brush. This is the e.l.f. brush. Um, it is a collaboration brush, but it's kind of like a, I don't want to say a duo fiber. It's more like a, it's like a foundation brush. And I feel like it just picks up the product really nicely and it just buffs it on the skin very effortlessly. Um, I don't find it to have any issues with my powdered products. I have heard people say that it disrupted what was underneath. And it might because it's, be because it's such a dense formula. And if you have, you know, if you get in there too rough with it, like, I guess I can see maybe. But I don't know. I haven't had any problems with it. And again, I do like it. I think it is very user friendly. If you're not going for something with a dew, like you can see that Maybelline has a glow and the e.l.f. one does not. It just depends on like what look you're going for. Okay, so number four on the list is from ColourPop and this is the Cheek Dew Serum Blush. This shade is called Kiss Kiss. I love this shade so much. This is a nude to me. This is like a tannish, sunburned, gorgeous nude color. Oh, I love it. Now, this is a very lightweight formula. It's very runny and when you blend it out, it blends in very easily and you do lose a lot of that pigment. So as you saw, I did use quite a bit of product to get this level of flush, but I do really like it. I think there's a time and a place for this where I just want like a hint of like sunburn, you know? And it just gives a nice hint. And this also builds up, like you can add more to it and you're gonna get more color. So it just depends on like what you want, but it does melt in the skin so beautifully and it looks like it's really your skin doing that and not like a makeup product. So I really do like that. Okay, so that was a number, what were we on? Three. Um, number two is maybe my favorite shade of all of the blushes. Um, and my second favorite formula and this is from Milani. This is their cheek kiss liquid Blush in nude flush. This formula is kind of like in between the Maybelline and The ColourPop. It's not super runny, but it's not super thick either But this shade I love it so much It's kind of giving me the vibes of the ColourPop, but Even better. Oh, I love it. So 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 I can't. This liquid applies over powder flawlessly. I can't get over it. I don't know how they did it, Milani, but this color is like my favorite blush color maybe of all time. I want all the nude blush. I'm into peachy corals. That's like my go-to blush shade, but for some reason these burnt nudes are just speaking to me this summer. Just like so good. And then number one, if you didn't guess, is also from Milani and these are the regular cheek kiss blushes. I have two shades. The reason I have two sh shades is because I picked up this one in Coral Crush because this was the only shade they had left and I needed to try the formula to know like what all the hype was about, if the hype was real. This is a cream to powder formula. It is so freaking beautiful. I keep hearing that it is a dupe for the Tower 28 blushes. If that is the case, I don't feel like I need to spend the money on those because these are amazing. So they go on like a cream, they dry to a powder. They're not super dewy, not super glowy, but they're not exactly matte. I do have one layered on top of the Pixie. I still feel like the glow from the Pixie is really coming through though. And that is this shade here, which is called Nude Kiss. Second favorite shade of all time. Maybe it's a tie between these two being my favorite. This one's a little bit more of like that burnt tan. And this one has a little hint of like rosiness to it, but I can't, where am I gonna put this? My hands are so raw because I just filmed a eyeshadow video and I did so much swatching. All right, so that is this shade here. And it has a little bit of like a rosy tone to it. This one is like straight up like coral, which I love. I think this is so pretty like for a beach day. 
This one is more of like an everyday. This one is my go-to. Of all of them, I reach for this one almost daily. So that is why this is in the number one position. This one I don't reach for as much, but it's definitely screaming summer beachy vibes. Also, another thing to note about these is that you can use them on your lips, and I have, and they look so pretty. Like this one gives me like popsicle lip vibes. So good for a pool party, summer, beach, throw it in your bag, bring it with you. I just love these. I can't speak enough good things about them. Of all of these, these are the ones I would recommend hands down for anyone, for everyone. I think even if you have like oily skin and things tend to slide around, these will work because they are cream to powder. So they do dry down like a powder, which makes them so like user friendly. And I slap them on right on over all my powders and <laughs> they look flawless. I love them. I want every shade. I've decided I think I need every shade so that is it for today's video let me know what you guys think about these formulas which ones have you tried have you tried any of them or what drugstore cream blushes did I miss that I should try someone mentioned NYX on a TikTok, and I still haven't tried that one so that is on my list but let me know what else I should try because I'm down to try every single cream blush from every single affordable brand send them all to me what is good what I should try and definitely let me know what you guys think. Have you tried the Milani? Have you tried these? Tell me what you think. I want to know. Is there anybody who doesn't like these? If you are a person who doesn't like these, tell me. Please let me know. Or if you love them, I want to know that too. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit that bell so you never miss when I upload a video. You can follow me on social. My handle is at Latte. Don't forget the Glam Latte Beauty Podcast is everywhere you listen to podcasts. All those details are in the description box down below. Got some juicy episodes coming up, so don't miss that. And thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Yeah.